Odin Sphere was developed by Vanillaware and published by Atlas on the PlayStation 2 back in 2007. It was a sleeper hit within the console's massive library and was met with generally positive reviews. The HD re-release, retitled Odin Sphere Lithrasir, gives everyone the fantastical story of the original in a glorious 1080p and 60 frames per second, along with redrawn visuals and an updated combat system. Despite its age, Odin Sphere Lithrasir is a great action role-playing experience that PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita owners will want to have in their collection. If you never played the original game, Odin Sphere follows a narrative focusing on five characters with intertwining stories. Each story has its own perspective on the events that unfold, but offers extra details for other parts you may or may have not yet played. This might be a bit confusing, especially when you spend a lot of time with one character before switching to another. Jumping back and forth between all five characters did make me lose some emotional investment in a few of them, especially when I already knew how things would turn out by the end of a chapter. Action is the biggest focus in Odin Sphere's gameplay. You explore stages and fight battles in real time against many enemies. A lot of comparisons can be made to other action games with exploration, like Castlevania or Metroid, but Odin Sphere has more emphasis on combat rather than searching around for secrets. I never once felt like I was lost or wasted time getting around from one place to another, especially since I had a lot of access to fast travel points all over the stages. Each character you control has a variety of attacks and spells that can be used at any time, provided you have enough energy and MP to do so. Experience is gained from defeating foes and consuming items that you find in the different stages, which powers up the strength of your attacks and other abilities. I never once felt underpowered at any point, but that didn't stop Odin Sphere's boss enemies from being a solid challenge. While the game recycles some fights between each story, some characters required me to fight them differently than just simply spamming attacks. Things eventually get repetitive when you face the same boss for a third time, but the cutscenes that play afterwards are well worth the effort. One of the things I absolutely love about Odin Sphere is the presentation. Vanillaware has a very distinct style in how they design backgrounds and characters, all of which look gorgeous in 1080p. Even the most unimportant of things, like a character eating an apple, is given an incredible amount of subtle detail to make it look and feel natural and alive. The menus have this same attention to detail with various effects that help make everything you see look magical. What's incredible is how well this transfers over from the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation Vita. Cross save allows you to upload your data to the cloud and continue playing. I couldn't spot any loss in quality between both versions, which is a huge plus for anyone looking to take this experience on the go. Odin Sphere Lethrasir is definitely a game you should own in your gaming collection. If you missed playing it back on the PlayStation 2, now is the perfect time to play this great action RPG. The visuals look phenomenal in 1080p HD, and the combat will keep you coming back for more. The story is interesting to follow, even though it could be a bit confusing at times, but it's well worth investing more than 20 hours to see this story fully through. This is a hidden gem that definitely hasn't lost its shine. This is why I'm giving Odin Sphere Lethrasir a final score of 90 out of 100. Hey everyone, this is Jake James Lugo and thanks for checking out our video review here on the Coalition YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave us a like on this video and comment down below in the comments section telling us what you guys thought about this video review. Don't forget to also subscribe to the Coalition YouTube channel for even more video reviews and other gaming related videos. See you all again real soon. Peace out and stay epic everybody.